I got a North Texas market update for you with some of the macro economy. I'm Roland Brown from Black Swan Team at Remax Town & Country. Looking at the Collin County data from February 2019 compared to February 2020, we see that the median sales price went from $325,000 last year to $338,000 this year. Looking at average days on market, we went from 76 days to now 67 days. Finally, we'll compare the number of homes sold versus the number of homes that are currently on the market. In February of 2019, you'll see that the number of homes on the market was around 4,500, but sold 1,033. This year, we have a much lower inventory at around 3,700, but have sold 1,139. So we're moving quite quickly through the inventory compared to last year. The news cycles over the past several months have been dominated by a lot of fear through coronavirus. It's been multiple months, many countries are affected, and the uh, infection is starting to hit a, a few spots around the United States at this point. So that fear is kind of sitting heavily on the market. Uh, recently, the Federal Reserve made another adjustment to the interest rate, and so we continue to have all-time low uh, interest rates on new mortgages for eight, the past eight straight months, the automotive industry has been seeing significantly lower lending rates. And so getting lending, it's been fairly simple for uh, quite a long time because the Federal Reserve is working hard to keep the economy strong. As a result, one of the lenders that Alicia was speaking to yesterday said that escrows are taking a little bit longer than they normally would take. So uh, you might need to allow for a little extra time when trying to apply for a loan to get on your new home loan or also the refinance. So with all of this economic fear going on and just other impacts, sometimes it's important to take a step away and think, how is this actually affecting me in my life? Where am I right now? And how, how is this affecting what my goals are? I really like a quote that says, life's not happening to me, it's happening for me. Meaning all of these obstacles that feel like they're getting in our way, they're actually helping us. And if we can get our headspace there, then it makes going through the day-to-day -day fears easier because now we're focused and we're moving forward. Um, in that same vein, there's a quote I read this morning by Marcus Aurelius I really liked, and I'm gonna go through it somewhat quickly here. He states, our inward power reacts to events by accommodating itself to what's possible. It turns obstacles into fuel. What's thrown on top of the conflagration is then absorbed, consumed by it, and makes it burn still higher. So I, I didn't read the full quote, just really the essence of what he was talking about. And that is to say, the obstacles that are standing your way turn into fuel. It, it makes you stronger. It makes you more ready to attack your challenge. Um, he does then, in the next line, add another statement that really clarifies how this happens. No random actions, none not based in underlying principle. So as long as the actions you're taking on a day-to-day -day basis have a principle behind them, that they're moving you forward, they're positive, they're helpful, then a lot of the noise and the fear that's out in the market doesn't necessarily have to affect you because you're taking steps towards the person you want to be, the life you want to live. <music>